In mathematical logic, the lowenheim skolem theorem, named for Leopold Lowenheim and Thoralf Skolem, states that if a countable first-order theory has an infinite model, then for every infinite cardinal number kappa it has a model of size kappa. The result implies that first-order theories are unable to control the cardinality of their infinite models and that no first-order theory with an infinite model can have a unique model up to isomorphism. The lowenheim skolem theorem is one of the two key properties, along with the compactness theorem, that are used in Lindstrom's theorem to characterize first-order logic. In general, the lowenheim skolem theorem does not hold in stronger logics such as second-order logic. Background a signature consists of a set of function symbols func, a set of relation symbols srel, and a function representing the arity of function and relation symbols. In the context of first-order logic, a signature is sometimes called the language. It is called countable if the set of function and relation symbols in it is countable, and in general the cardinality of a signature is the cardinality of the set of all the symbols it contains. A first-order theory consists of a fixed signature and a fixed set of sentences in that signature. Theories are often specified by giving a list of axioms that generate the theory, or by giving a structure and taking the theory to consist of the sentences satisfied by the structure. Given a signature sigma, a sigma structure or M is a concrete interpretation of the symbols in sigma. It consists of an underlying set together with an interpretation of the function and relation symbols of sigma. An interpretation of a constant symbol of sigma in M is simply an element of M. More generally, an interpretation of an NARY function symbol F is a function from M N to M. Similarly, an interpretation of a relation symbol R is an NARY relation on M, i.e., a subset of MN. A substructure of a sigma structure M is obtained by taking a subset N of M which is closed under the interpretations of all the function symbols in sigma, and then restricting the interpretations of the relation symbols to N. An elementary substructure is a very special case of this, in particular an elementary substructure satisfies exactly the same first-order sentences as the original structure, precise statement. The modern statement of the theorem is both more general and stronger than the version for countable signatures stated in the introduction. In its general form, the lowenheim skolem theorem states that for every signature sigma, every infinite sigma structure M and every infinite cardinal number kappa sigma, there is a sigma structure or N such that N equals kappa and if kappa less than M, then N is an elementary substructure of M. If kappa greater than M, then N is an elementary extension of M. The theorem is often divided into two parts corresponding to the two bullets above. The part of the theorem asserting that a structure has elementary substructures of all smaller infinite cardinalities is known as the downward lowenheim skolem theorem. The part of the theorem asserting that a structure has elementary extensions of all larger cardinalities is known as the upward lowenheim skolem theorem. The statement given in the introduction follows immediately by taking M to be an infinite model of the theory. The proof of the upward part of the theorem also shows that a theory with arbitrarily large finite models must have an infinite model. Sometimes this is considered to be part of the theorem. For historical variants of the theorem, see the notes below. Examples and consequences. Let n denote the natural numbers and are the rails. It follows from the theorem that the theory of has uncountable models, and that the theory of has a countable model. There are, of course, axiomatizations characterizing an up to isomorphism. The lowenheim skolem theorem shows that these axiomatizations cannot be first order. For example, the completeness of a linear order, which is used to characterize the real numbers as a complete ordered field, 
is a non-first order property. A theory is called categorical if it has only one model, up to isomorphism. This term was introduced by Veblen, and for some time thereafter mathematicians hoped they could put mathematics on a solid foundation by describing a categorical first order theory of some version of set theory. The lowenheim skolem theorem dealt a first blow to this hope, as it implies that a first-order theory which has an infinite model cannot be categorical. Later, in 1931, the hope was shattered completely by Gödel's incompleteness theorem. Many consequences of the lowenheim skolem theorem seemed counterintuitive to logicians in the early 20th century as the distinction between first-order and non-first-order properties was not yet understood. One such consequence is the existence of uncountable models of true arithmetic, which satisfy every first-order induction axiom but have non-inductive subsets. Another consequence that was considered particularly troubling is the existence of a countable model of set theory, which nevertheless must satisfy the sentence saying the real numbers are uncountable. This counterintuitive situation came to be known as Skolem's paradox. It shows that the notion of countability is not absolute. Proof sketch downward part for each first-order formula the axiom of choice implies the existence of a function such that, for all, either or applying the axiom of choice again we get a function from the first-order formulas to such functions the family of functions gives rise to a preclosure operator on the power set of for iterating countably many times results in a closure operator taking an arbitrary subset such that and having defined one can see that also is an elementary substructure of by the tarshi vort test. The trick used in this proof is essentially due to Skolem, who introduced function symbols for the Skolem functions into the language. One could also define the as partial functions such that is defined if and only if the only important point is that is a preclosure operator such that contains a solution for every formula with parameters in which has a solution in and that upward part first. One extends the signature by adding a new constant symbol for every element of M. The complete theory of M for the extended signature sigma is called the elementary diagram of M. In the next step one adds kappa many new constant symbols to the signature and adds to the elementary diagram of M the sentence as CC for any two distinct new constant symbols C and C. Using the compactness theorem, the resulting theory is easily seen to be consistent. Since its models must have cardinality at least kappa, the downward part of this theorem guarantees the existence of a model N which has cardinality exactly kappa. It contains an isomorphic copy of M as an elementary substructure.